We got a beauty for you today. Look at this big, long, black beauty. 1966 Continental, baby. Look at that, it takes up the whole front of the car, Continental. Look at this car. Man, I see these cars all the time. You just don't see them done to this level. The restoration on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. The black paint is looking sweet as can be. Now we do have a couple of rock chips in the front. I'm gonna send that over to the paint shop and uh, have that all fixed up so you won't have to look at that. I mean, all the chrome is looking beautiful. The bodywork itself is looking sweet. You look down that big long side there, man, she is just as gorgeous as can be. And yeah, if everybody's asking right now, is that the one that's got the suicide doors? Yeah, this one's got the suicide doors for sure. You can see all the body lines, everything's lining up nice. Look at this thing. I love the hubcaps too, man. Those things are beautiful. And of course, we're gonna get it outside. We're gonna put the top up and down and show you. Look at this. <laughs> get on in. Plenty of room to get in with that baby like that, isn't it? I'll tell you what, they did one beautiful job on this thing. The red interior, the whole dash and everything's in beautiful shape. Really, really hard to find a car in this kind of shape. I'll tell you, most of these things are kind of half-assed, if I can say that on YouTube. <laughs> they did a beautiful job on the upholstery, on the seats, the carpeting. And I know everybody got a load of that car phone in there. <laughs> Talk about turning back time. You guys remember the uh, show Quincy? Remember Quincy would get on his uh, car phone? <laughs> Isn't this thing beautiful? All the trim is looking good. Chrome on the back bumper is looking good. Now the deck lid actually opens up suicide too. It comes up this way and then the top goes back down inside there. And again, we're gonna get that up and open and show you how all that works when we get this baby outside. But look how long and black and sweet this thing is. Just absolutely gorgeous. Then of course, both of these doors. You see how nice they open too? I tell you, they just work beautifully. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. We own every one of our vehicles here, and a lot of you may be asking, what does that mean to you? Most classic car dealers sell on consignment. They sell just about anything that'll roll through the door, and they don't know much about the cars. Finding a Vanguard quality car isn't easy. Our team of 15 buyers review thousands of vehicles each month. Our inspectors travel all over the country to handpick each of our cars, which saves you time, money, and frustration. Think of us as your expert hands, eyes, and ears to make sure that you end up with the highest quality cars. We have almost 50 team members here at Vanguard, and every one of us is a gearhead. Growing up around the Motor City, all of our families worked in the auto industry. I grew up working in the garage with my dad, and we worked on countless classics over the years. Around here, Cars are a way of life. I think it's cool enough today we're going to put the top up now of course it is electric or i should say it's hydraulic take a look at this baby
Let's take this Continental for a ride. You want to talk about sweet? This is one sweet ride right here. Reminds me a lot of my dad's old Mercury with that great big black hood. Look at all the reflections in that beautiful black paint, man. I'll tell you what, she is a beauty. Running real nice, riding real nice, looking really nice. Now, one of the coolest things about having a convertible is like a day like today when it's a little bit on the cold side out, you can put that top up and of course, you know, it keeps out most of the rain too. Tell you, I'm in love with this car right here, baby. Smooth as a Continental can be. And don't forget, we can deliver this big boy anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you exactly how easy that is. Now we're gonna take a look at the dash here. First of all, I'm gonna get on my car phone here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> this thing is neater than heck. You can see the dash is all looking sweet. We got the radio right here. And watch this, right, right outside there. Put the antenna up, the radio works. Isn't that neat? I'm going to turn it back off. It's driving down the road nice and straight. You can see that the uh, speedo's coming up. It says we're doing 35. Brakes feel real good and it's stopping nice and straight. Now we would love to have you come check it out in person. Or if you want to send an inspector, no problem. We do uh, sell about 95% of our cars sight unseen over the net, but we do enjoy it when you come in and check it out in person. We'll get it up on the lift for you. We'll show you everything you need to see. And if you want any additional close-up pictures of anything, don't hesitate to give us a holler. Tom will get you all the pictures you want. Now we're at 1.5 million subscriptions on YouTube right now and I want to thank every one of you. It really helps us out. And we can help you out by telling you every time we get a new car in. We're back at the shop right now. We're located right here in the Motor City at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. This building is where our team of 15 world-class mechanics inspect and improve every one of our cars. All of our work is done in-house. Our mechanics only service the vehicles we sell. We start with a thorough inspection and test drive. Then our team gets to work. We take the time to learn each car and fix the things that I would fix if it was mine. If that means the engine needs to come out, then it comes out. When you purchase a classic car from an auction or another dealer, in most cases it hasn't been inspected or serviced. You may be in for some unpleasant surprises. At Vanguard, we save you from the headaches that cost you time and money by handling this process for you. Right down the road is our 40,000 square foot indoor showroom. This building is climate controlled and houses over a hundred amazing vehicles. We're constantly bringing in new inventory so you never know what might show up tomorrow. We are underneath the Continental now and man is it pretty under here. It's all original 1966 under here. You can see that original undercoating just looking beautiful. It is gorgeous. The frame is looking great. We got brand new exhaust front to back. And then look at this rear end housing, man. Look how nice that rear end housing still looks. Now it's been cleaned up and painted. It's in beautiful shape. Now on the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. I do see uh, some new uh, pieces there. It looks like the hardware is all new there. It looks like uh, the cylinders are new. I see the backside's pretty shiny. Uh, brake lines are probably new also. Everything here, these floors are all original. That's all original there. Doesn't look like it's ever been hurt. All the braces look good. Everything under here is nice and clean. Trans tunnels all nice and clean. Now it does have a uh, rebuilt transmission in it. It says Hughes, there's a big stamp on the top of the Hughes transmission. So it's got a rebuilt uh, C6 trans in it. I see some new tie rod ends out here. I see new ball joints up front here. 
I see new flex lines going to the uh, calipers there and the disc brakes. There was also a new flex line in the back back there. Everything under here just as clean as can be. I see new battery cables. And now the chrome on the front, I do believe that's all original. It's in beautiful shape. I don't see any signs that that's, uh, that's a new bumper. Looks beautiful, nice and clean on the back side. You know what, if it was replaced, you know, it, it, it's pretty clean on the back. This might be a new uh, front bumper. Like I said, it's really hard to tell. It is beautiful though. And then these hubcaps, man, can you imagine if you had to find a set of these hubcaps? I mean, these are gorgeous. It's exactly what you would expect on a car of this caliber. Um, 235, 75, 15s. And then when you look down the side here, look at that black paint. Look at the reflections in that black paint. She is long and black, front to back. Rockers in great shape. Torque box here is all original. It's all in great shape. This car was definitely kept indoors. I mean, this baby's almost as old as me. It's missing it by four years. I got it by four years. Out back here, we got the same size tire, same good looking hubcap. The uh, wheel well's all nice and clean. The wheel well molding's all nice and clean. I mean, this is one solid baby right here. We're gonna lower it down and look under the hood right now. Under the hood here, man, you wanna talk about gorgeous? You do not see these cars done to this level under the hood. Super clean under here. A lot of new parts under here, everything looking sweet. We got an aftermarket aluminum radiator. Looks like it's got a uh, new AC pump on it. Um, the overflow tank here, all looking good. They got little tags on everything, like the AC pump or the uh, overflow tank here has got, it says green coolant 5050. It's got the uh, 10W40 oil in it. Then there's a label over here too, which I believe is the power steering. I mean, they went all out. Looks like the master cylinder's been replaced. It looks like a lot of the AC lines have been replaced. I mean, she is just as clean as can be. This is exactly what you'd expect to look under the hood of this thing back in 1966. Uh, you know, but the aluminum radiator, it wouldn't have had the aluminum radiator back then. Under the hood is nicely painted, new fiberglass under there. I mean, this is a show and go car, guys. Take this thing just about anywhere and be proud to show it in any show. One thing I will tell you is if you're gonna take this to a car show, you need to make up a little sign that says, I'll be putting the top up from one o'clock to two o'clock. Uh, you need to put a schedule up because everybody's gonna to wanna to see this top go down into the uh, trunk like it does. And another tip is fire this baby up and let that alternator make up some more current for you because that top takes a lot of current. You don't wanna run down your battery and then at the end of the day, not be able to drive your car home. Give us a call, 248-974-9513 in the Vanguard Motor Sales Park This Little Dream in your drive.